From the novice cruiser, to the most experienced, I bet you don't know a few of these things that the cruise lines work hard for you, not, to know about. I'll be right back with those top 10 things, right after this. From those who are about to embark on their first voyage, to those who already have their sea legs, you might learn some things that cruise lines don't advertise. I bet you never thought of some of these secrets. Number 1. Cruise fares aren't always what they seem to be. You will often see specials such as reduced deposits or free drink packages. Don't get caught in the hype, often these special deals cost you, in the form of much higher cruise prices. At any given time, the same cabin can have up to 10 different prices, depending on the promotion you choose. Always ask your vacation planner what the lowest prices package is, and compare it to the advertised special. Number 2. Crime can be a thing on board a cruise ship, so I should start by saying, cruising is safe, and probably a much lower crime rate than a land-based vacation since would-be thieves are trapped on the same ship as you until the end of the voyage. Also, when something goes missing, the whole crew gets placed on the lookout for it, even the room stewards, who have access to your cabin. That being said, people are people, and you will always find someone that is willing to take the chance to nab something from you. So, even on a cruise ship, watch out for onboard thieves. Number 3. The food quality can actually be better than restaurants on land. That's right, while on land, Restaurants are monitored by a health inspector that comes by every few months. On cruise ships, temperature and sanitation checks are performed throughout the day, and even several times a day. Also, if you keep a keen eye out while you're boarding your ship at embarkation, you can also see them loading the food on board. If you look closely, you will see that the ships usually use high-quality brand supplies, such as Omaha steaks, dole fruits and veggies, etc. Number 4. Seasickness is not as bad as you think. Here is a tip, when you board your cruise ship the first day, you will find that the alcoholic drinks are abundant. Now we know you're on vacation and are going to want to partake. Just don't have too much. Alcohol and the tropical sun don't mix. Industry experts say that up to 75% of the people that think they are seasick the next day are really just hungover. And the motion of the ship can make a hangover worse and even last for days. Number 5. Save money on your cabin. With so much going on throughout the ship, you most likely you will spend very little time in your cabin. Consider getting a cheaper cabin and save your money for onboard experiences. If you're a night owl, you might even want to go with an inside cabin, not only are they the cheapest on the ship, but they are also pitch black with the lights off, allowing for easier sleeping on the morning, after the sun rises. Before we go on, YouTube statistics show that up to 80% of people that watch our videos aren't subscribed to our channel. Take a quick second and click the subscribe button. For breaking cruise news, you can also join our free text message system by texting the word CRUISE to 30557492131. Both subscribing and texting are totally free and would sure mean the world to us. Number 6. The crew are party animals, after a long day of making sure that your vacation is the best you've ever had, the crew wins down in the city below the waterline. Down in the crew area you will often find restaurants, nightclubs, movie theaters, and lots of great places to hook up with other crew members. However, if you think that you will get a glimpse of it by hooking up with that sexy bartender, think again, as fraternization with the passengers is strictly prohibited and has a zero tolerance policy. Crew members will be immediately fired and sent home if they try it. Number 7. People do die on board. Have you ever heard the expression that cruising is for the newlyweds and nearly deads? While cruising has changed in the last 30 years, you will still find that with cruising's all-inclusive type of vacation, it does appeal to seniors. Don't worry, you're no more likely to die on a cruise ship than anywhere else in the world. Whenever you put thousands of people together for a week, lots of them being older persons, statistics say that one person will die a week, regardless of if you're on a cruise or land vacation. Number 8. Falling ill on board. We have all seen cruise ships on the news with passengers that have fallen susceptible to stomach viruses 
or even worse, coronavirus. Believe it or not, ships go through a very tight cleaning process each and every day. While it makes great news, statistics say that you are much less likely to catch a virus on a cruise when you are at your local grocery store. Number 9. You may miss your must-see port when you book your cruise. Odds are you picked ports that you really want to see. Just don't get your hopes too high. Ships often have to change their itineraries last minute and may end up not stopping at the destination you had your heart set on. Reasons can stem from anything from weather that makes it difficult for ships to dock to mechanical issues that force the ship to take a shorter route. Here's a tip, if your port is missed, you are entitled to some of your port fees and taxes refunded. The cruise line will often add these to your OB board account, allowing you a little extra fun at sea. Number 10. Lots of people miss the ship. We're not talking about not getting back to the ship on time at a scheduled port stop. I will leave that to another video. Here we are talking about people that miss the cruise completely. Lots of people refuse to listen to their travel advisor and schedule their flight for their vacation on the same morning that they are supposed to embark on their voyage. What they don't realize that many aircraft are overbooked, have mechanical issues, or even weather delays. One small delay can cause you to be late for the ship, and, well, it's not going to wait for you. If you're going to cruise, I can't stress enough, fly in a day or two before your cruise. Hey, you can spend that time enjoying the local area. And there they are, how many of these tips were new to you? Let me know in the comments below this video and please, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. See you soon, up on the Lido deck.